Hello, friends, and welcome to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I appreciate every single one of you so much. Thank you so much for liking. And if you feel so inclined, I would love it if you subscribed. And if you love this video, feel free to give it a like. Today, we are going to be doing a horoscope reading. Last month, it seemed like you guys really liked that. And I can't believe it's already been four weeks since that last horoscope went up. So it's time for a new one. Uh, so we will get into that. Before we get into it, I do want to mention that tonight I am using um, my candles. So these candles will be launching later on this month. I'm very excited. If you look back to all of my other videos, it's all of the candles that I've been using. I literally have been burning through my own supply because I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I've made like a hundred of them and given them to my friends and probably burned like 75 myself. So let's get started with your reading. <laughs> Today we are going to be starting with Gemini because it is your birthday month, Gemini. I love me some Geminis. They are my Sour Patch Kids. I have my very own Sour Patch Kid that is a Gemini. So let's see what this month has in store for you. We are going to be asking Spirit, what is the energy that's going to be surrounding you? So let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, thank you so much for allowing me to channel these messages for Gemini. What do my Geminis need to know right now? What is the energy that's going to be surrounding them? What messages could they find the most helpful for their situation right now? So the first card that flew out is the Magician Reverse. So I feel like maybe you're not... Um, like feeling fully in your power, perhaps maybe you're doubting of what you can do. Like regardless, this is the magician and you are a manifester is just right now. Um, we'll see what else comes up in your reading, but there's obviously a blockage if this is um, coming up reverse for you. So there's something about hope coming through, like keeping hope. Okay. So. Are there feelings of self-doubt creeping in because of something um, big that just happened is kind of what I'm getting. A, a refusal of letting something go is also coming through. Let's see. Let's get a few more cards for our Geminis. I hope you all have been enjoying your birthday month. All right. So Gemini, who are you hanging out around? I feel like there's something here about other people coming through that are, I don't want to say they're affecting how you feel about yourself, but I think they're affecting your vibe. Something's making you uh, or leaving you feeling confused. Or maybe you're trying to come out of the confusion and that's where the hope is coming from. Okay, perfect. So, um, like I said, the star card is about hope. It's about having it. And it's also about like integrating what you've already been through and like nourishing yourself. Like it's taking care of yourself. It's remaining ho hopeful. Um, the seven of cups reversed is right underneath it. Okay, and you also have the four of cups. So I do feel like there's something about confusion coming up. Maybe you see like too many options. So the magician reversed and the seven of cups reversed and the four of cups. Like I definitely feel like you're in this place where you're like, I thought I knew what I wanted. I was working on manifesting it. Like something here is leaving you with doubt that, that you're gonna, I almost feel like, I want to say it's almost like very Gemini of you. Like, I feel like you're flipping, like you're going kind of back and forth and it's led to confusion and maybe like self doubt. The reason I mentioned earlier, who are you hanging out with is because there is something coming up here about like, um, either like 
socially like hanging out with or just people around you that I feel are not um, helping you level up this vibe or like keep up with your own vibe or maybe when you're already not feeling your greatest there's a group of somebodies um, around you that aren't helping that as well. So I do think that you are working towards coming out of confusion. Maybe the confusion came up from like this situation that you had happen in your life with the tower reverse. Like it's either showing um, you healing after a really big situation in your life. Um, I do see that there is grief involved. There's you holding on and like refusing to let go of something. Um, you could be, I feel like you're working hard at like releasing confusion and releasing these things that, that, you know, are like not, not good to hold on to. Um, it is leading like you, you are feeling overburdened with this 10 of wands here underneath the reversed, um, four of pentacles. Like you do know that hanging on to these things is just, it's too much. It's leading you to, to overburden. And I do feel like you are working towards releasing those the king of cups card underneath the tower card, like the energy of someone who like loves deep, like really cares about their family is coming through. So maybe you are the person that people are turning towards after this tower moment that happened after this, possibly, I want to say devastating, or just it kind of came out of nowhere. It's a situation that um, was out of your control that just happened. And it like forever changed how you live your daily life. I do see that you are coming through as a person um, with a lot of capacity for emotion during this time. And maybe that's what's happening with these people that are around you. Is that because you do have this capacity? It's like, it's good for them, but it's not helping you is kind of what I'm getting from it. The five of cups here has to do with grief. Um, something happened and it, and it made you sad. But as you can see, there's three cups that are spilled and two are still upright. So it's like all is not lost. Queen of Pentacles also came up. This is... Um, this, is, this could be like a mother figure or um, a very stable feminine energy that loves to nurture, loves to take care of like big Taurus energy coming through or any earth sign coming through. So it's almost like if this was the father, then this is the mother. Um, not it doesn't have to be literal, but it's like the feeling of the cards that's coming through. You're either, again, someone who's holding space and like for other people during this grief is kind of what I feel like is coming through. But there's definitely like a stable energy here that has capacity to give. But like I said, it's coming with the feeling of overburden. With this four of cups, it is showing you like feeling maybe disassociated from your surroundings um, and not being able to fully see. I feel like spirit wants to point out these two cups and this cup here because they are there upright for you. It's just a matter of being able to see through all of this to to take take up that new opportunity for new emotion to come through. So my sweet Geminis, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one. Hello, Cancer, Cancer Crabs. Welcome to your horoscope reading. This is for mid-June through mid-July of 2021. I hope everyone had a great month. Happy almost birthday. I think when this video posts, we're probably going to be pretty close to cancer season. So let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, please allow me to channel messages for cancer. What does the next few weeks look like for cancer? What do they need to know? Hangman. You guys are getting some of the same cards that your Gemini buddies got. Lots of the same energies. I feel like collectively we're all going through so much similar stuff. Let's see what flipped. All right. You guys are coming out of something. Maybe a situation that was causing you stress. You're finally letting it go. Uh, I think it took you a little bit longer than it needed to to let it go. Shows that there was a delay here. Is it leaving you feeling confused? 
or like you're not really sure what to do. Spirit wants to remind you to connect back to your to your inner child. What used to make you happy? What are the things you used to want? All right, let's pull a few more cards before we get any further into the reading. All right, so I'm seeing a very masculine energy coming through. We did put him underneath the hangman. Oh, look at that. You got two. So lots of, you have some painful swords here, Cancer, but I do think you're releasing. I'm going to switch these around. This feels better because I feel like what you're releasing is anxiety. Anxiety that you were holding on to. I think it was something that was really exciting at one point. Yeah, it was an exciting cycle that started and then it started to feel like, okay, it needs to be done, but I do see that there's like delays with it coming to an end with something that was passionate and maybe it came up quickly for you. Okay, so maybe you're confused about some decisions that you need to make or uh, you know what? It's not decisions for you. It's options. I think you're confused over the options and I think that um, you might be trying to be too logical about things. Let's see, your bottom of the deck is the two of cups reversed. Okay, so um, let's get started with the hangman. So I do feel like right now you're like not really having much movement. Like you probably feel like you feel like there's delays, but right now um, you're kind of meant to sit still so that you can get past this energy over here, which is like confusion and, it, and all this stuff that you went through. Like, I feel like you need to allow yourself time to process. And I feel like that's why you are in um, the hanged one position right now where you're just kind of meant to sit in it and just kind of try to look at the bigger picture, whatever it is. So the energy of the emperor is coming up underneath the hangman. So this is a very like masculine energy, very take charge, knows what he wants, goes for it, is a leader. Um, you know, but the energy can be a little strong. So maybe this is coming up with the hangman because you're trying to push through something that you're just supposed to kind of sit through, if that makes sense. So I did talk a little bit about this nine of wands underneath the reversed, um, nine of wands. And I do feel like something that was an exciting chapter that came in, maybe it was promising or maybe you jumped into something. I don't know. Um, it was something exciting, though. But somewhere along the way, it just ended up like turning into this cycle. And I feel like there's a little bit of a of a delay working through it however that applies to your situation um only you'll know with this reverse ten of swords um above the nine of swords so these are very painful cards but because this is reversed it does show me that you are coming out of this anxiety this place of like anxiety i think you're really in your head like you also have the queen of swords like even though she is a queen and she has the capacity it is a very um like very logical like not very heart driven and um, the emotions that you do have like that aren't connected to what your mind, your brain is telling you, um, they're leaving you feeling confused for whatever reason. But like I said, spirit is reminding you to like think back to the things that used to make you happy. Like what did you used to like to enjoy in your childhood? Like allow yourself to daydream, allow yourself to revisit those places like whether they're physical or in your mind, um, just like re revisit those. You're like two in your head about something. And with this reversed um, two of cups, it does show like there's some kind of disconnect or disunion within um, probably a partnership in your life. So I feel like maybe you're a little bit in your head about it, but this is like you are compassionate, like regardless, you are compassionate, but I feel like maybe you need to, um, like I said, like I feel like you're being encouraged to like think back to what used to fulfill you, what used to feel good in the past. Um, this is definitely a past card. There's maybe um, the disunion has to do with something regarding your past or um, a relationship. Let's see. 
So it does show movement forward. The chariot wanted to jump out. Um, so whatever it is, like you, you are moving forward through it, but like I said, there's just an energy of something. There's just something, something's blocked. Um, and you're feeling a little like disassociated, maybe like you're not really seeing the full opportunity that's, that's in front of you, um, with this decision-making here or these, these two, like I, I said, I, I don't think it's um, decision. It's almost like two options. Like you have options here, um, but I don't think you're seeing the full potential in them. I, I think maybe you're you're um, thinking too much about something that isn't allowing you to see the full potential. Let's see if anything else comes up for you. One more card. All right. So I love this. That you got the chariot and you got the full card. So this just tells me that you are going to be starting on a new journey. Um, so maybe that's those are the options here. Maybe maybe that's what it is. But it does show you moving forward um, in a new journey. So that's always exciting. You don't know everything you're supposed to know yet because it's very much like a beginner mindset, something you haven't tried before. Um, but it does show you like going into it. So I love this for you, Cancer. And that is your reading for the month. Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your horoscope for mid-June through mid-July. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides. We ask you for guidance for the sign of Leo for the next month. What can they expect? What energy is in the air? What do they need to know? Messages for the sign of Leo. <laughs> I'm laughing because these are just flying out and they were not flying out for cancer <laughs> for cancer it was literally like crab like trying to like break them out of the shell <laughs> all right let's see we got the eight of cups the wheel of fortune reversed you got the eight of wands I'm smiling because Yomi's is paying attention to this one <laughs> Justice reversed and Knight of Cups. Let's pull a few more cards. I feel like I can already kind of catch a vibe of what's going on here. Yeah, we're putting that there. Let's put him here for now. Let's see where he fits in. So I do see you like walking away from something that was long term. With the Ten of Pentacles, this is something that is like um, some kind of structure, like a long-standing structure. Foundation. There we go. A foundation you're walking away from. You probably decided it's not good for you anymore. It's not serving you. It doesn't matter if other people understand or not. You're kind of doing you. You're doing what's best. I just um, was flashed the chariot. It didn't come out, but it did want to say hi. And that shows you moving forward, moving forward with integrity, moving forward with purpose. I'm really liking this reading for you. I see a lot of fast action for you. I think there was delays in. Um, yeah, here's the delays. We'll leave the, the King of Wands there since he wanted to come out. Let's see. And bottom of the deck. All right. I like this for you. At the end, end of the day, you are focused. You are focused on your task. Look at you, Leo. Just chipping away there at your little, at your little material things, meaning... Your home, your job, your monies, whatever it is that, that you have going on, you're focused on them. And that's the overall energy for your reading. So let's go back to you walking away from something. So this kind of shows you kind of taking this whole like soul journey, like walking away from something that was a long term foundation for you. Again, you got pentacles. So this has to do with home, career, um, relationships, like 
um, marriage, like whatever, whatever that is for you, it's like long term and you're, you're walking away. I feel like you choosing to walk away, like now things are going to start turning for you with this wheel of fortune reverse. Like I do feel like there was delays in the universe, like pushing you or like helping carry you into this next chapter. Um, but I feel like you know that and I feel like that's why there's this fast movement going on because you had this like inner awakening. Maybe you woke up one day and you were like, shit, I have to handle that. Like, I just have to take care of it and move out of this quickly. <laughs> um, you are like because of the transition. I'm just laughing because it's just like collective energy. Like, I feel this as well for myself. Like, I, I feel like I said at the beginning of the reading a lot of people are waking up to um, actually taking steps like away from or towards like their truth. Like we're we're waking up and and I feel like that's just what's coming through. Like I feel like literally you one day it hit you like this is what I have to do. And it it was like fast movement, like you started to go for it um during this time like spirit does want to like point out like balance like there's old stuff you need to take care of and yes there's new stuff and it's like just um balancing those two things that are going to require your your time and your energy with justice reversed and um this eight of swords like I feel like this situation is like from it's like from the past, but it's coming back to be corrected. It's almost like karma that needs to be closed out is really what I'm feeling here. And I feel like you didn't deal with it because you had your own fears and anxieties about it. But you're like finally pushing through like this um, death card, death, death in reverse. Like it's showing another um, another delay. Like I think you were holding on to a chapter that should have been closed and, and it was like pulling at your heart or your emotions in some way, but it does seem like you are moving through it. Whatever that is for you, that's the energy that's coming up for the month. Like I said at the beginning, um, you got the eight of pentacles. So this is definitely showing you like focus. Like I think you're just really focused on getting it done and you're just focused on probably just yourself and bettering yourself. Now I understand this king of wands coming up. Like it's just showing you like being passionate. Like I think you're passionate about the direction you're going in or the potential of the direction you're going in. Um, you're passionate about your work, your home, whatever it is you're working on here. It just shows like you're in a good place. I just feel like you had to make these decisions in order to um, see this movement that probably could have been started earlier but now it's just like rapidly catching up if that makes sense so leo that is your reading for the month i hope you enjoyed it hello virgo friends thank you so much for joining me here today for your horoscope today we are going to be asking spirit what does the next month hold for you what is the energy that's going to be surrounding you we are going to be looking at mid-june through mid-july so let's get started angels ancestors spirits and guides thank you so much for allowing me to channel these messages for virgo what does virgo need to know in the next month what's the energy that's going to be surrounding them like what messages do they need to hear so right off the bat i feel like someone cares a lot <laughs> like that's all i can say for now until we see more Someone's got a lot of love. I don't know if they show it, but they have it for people, for family, for things. They have a, a big capacity for it. Wow, Virgo, I'm really already liking this vibe for you, friends. All right. Let's get a few more cards in before I go deeper into the channeling. But I see, I already feel a little bit about what's going on. And I do want you to, um, yeah, we're going to talk about this Four of Pentacles and what you're hanging on to and why you're hanging on to it. Let's go.
All right. And there's your last card. Okay. You got work to do, loves. It's okay. We all do. Let's get started. Okay. So like I said, there's lots of emotion here. Like someone cares a lot. <laughs> like when I said that I laughed for some reason, it just feels like, yeah, someone, someone does. Someone loves a lot. Like I said, I'm not really sure if they show it all the time, but this is a very, um, this is like love. I feel like this is love between, um, two people, wh whether this is, uh, family, um, or siblings, whatever it is, there's someone here that cares a lot about a partnership. Um, there, or there's like a, there's like new feelings in, in the heart, if that makes sense. Like this cup is running with fresh water and the fresh water represents like fresh feelings coming in, but there's like a deep sense of, there's just a lot of emotion. There, there's a lot of emotion running through here. So the energy of the magician is also coming up. This is a manifester. So this could have been something you manifested and you, you're you like having to possibly now, now that it's here, you're probably having to make some hard decisions to get yourself fully into the place of like, I, I feel like a, into a place of calm. Like, I, I'm not sure what this would be for you, but um, you are being asked in several places Actually, you're in a lot of places. Almost your entire reading is about you looking within. There's a lot of self-reflection that's coming through. Spirit really wants to point out that now is a time for you to be looking within because I feel like you've been avoiding that. You've been avoiding making a tough decision of something you have to walk away from. Um, Spirit wants to remind you, you are a very independent person. You can provide for yourself. You are nurturing. You plant a garden and you can tend to it. It grows. Um, if you have animals, like you're a great, like furry parent, like it, you're just, you you have all this to offer, but I feel like you are holding yourself back in certain places. So let's go back to the magician. Your own fears about whatever it is that you want to go for are the only thing stopping you from you being able to manifest the like dream life that you want. Um, this eight of swords here really points out how we can possibly keep ourselves in like a prison of our own making of our own mind um, with the devil here. Anytime this comes up, this is reminding us that we have the power to break those habits or break whatever it is that is like holding our own selves back. Like whatever our vices are, whatever you lean on, um, it's like no longer serving you. And I feel like I mean, this could be anything. This could be, um, you know, for some people, it's alcohol. I always say sex, drugs, rock and roll comes out in this. It's like whatever this is for you, it's like not serving you anymore. And I feel like you know it, but there's been um, like you've been avoiding walking away from it uh, right here with the four of pentacles over the moon card. Like you are holding on to something, but you're being asked to really go within. This moon card is really like. Uh, they call it the dark night of the soul because it's all about you, like seeing through these illusions and seeing through the dark. So I, I feel like you have these illusions and maybe that is your devil card. That is what's keeping you from from letting go. But when you let go, you are going to make room for more. This ace of swords here is telling us that you are going to take on a new mentality like this is a new um, cycle of the way that you think that's going to be starting so I'm curious as to what the bottom of the deck is for you. So temperance reverse. So this could be like, um, maybe you're feeling a little impatient or this could also be something from the past that's coming back that like needs to be corrected. So maybe it's like past, um, past ways of thinking that you have to like let go of. This is, this could also be you not like implementing what you've already learned along the way. So I feel I, I love this reading for you. I mean, I know it's not like all rainbows and stuff, but it is um, pointing out the areas that you could be doing more like shadow work, more reflect, be more reflective and really like face yourself. Because when you do that, you're going to be able to break away from these swords and you're going to be able to manifest whatever it is you want. So Virgo, that is your horoscope for the next month. I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
Hello, Libra friends. Welcome to your horoscope for mid-June through mid-July of 2021. I hope you've all been well. Let's get right into your reading. So, spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, please give us messages for Libra. Libra? It was Libra. Oh my God, you guys, we've been filming back to back. I'm getting my signs mixed up. What does Libra need to know this next month? What energy is going to be surrounding them? Let's see what you guys get. We've had some pretty interesting readings so far. All right, so it seems like you're coming out of a situation that maybe felt like it wasn't moving for a bit. And now there's like movement. There's also like a release of conflict. Um, maybe this is time after conflict, or maybe you just finally decided to, you know what, I'm just moving away from that situation. Okay, I see. Well, I see something. <laughs> Let's pull a few more cards out for you. Oh, I make myself laugh sometimes, guys. Yeah, you're coming out of it. So I feel like you were in a time of rest and maybe like if you're into meditation or prayer, like this was a time for you to look within. I feel like you're coming out of it. Um, for some reason, I feel like I need to mention that if you were in a time where like things weren't really moving and you're like laying low, um, spirit wanted you to use that time to really like work on yourself, like work on your inner peace is what's coming in. I feel like that's that's the conflict you're releasing um, during that time. Maybe you did some healing with that because that is a healing card. OK, so there's something here that is not making you very happy. You are the empress, though. All right, bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands. Okay, so there is passion involved. Okay, let's get started with the Hangman Reverse. So like I said, I do see you coming out of a situation that maybe wasn't um, feeling like there was a lot of movement for a while. But you're coming out of that, and there does seem to be like a release of conflict that was surrounding maybe that period of time. I feel like there is a miscommunication here. Yeah, I, I feel like there is something that wasn't communicated correctly. Um, maybe you, yeah, maybe someone told you some news and you interpreted it one way and they meant it another, or maybe you got the news in a way that you didn't really like. I feel like it pulled you out of this, um, like it started some movement, but it did allow for release. There just seems to be something here about miscommunication um, that's coming through. So this conflict that was going on, like I said, it it's if it's not over yet, you're like in the last like it's about to be like, even though right now you might feel like giving up or it's just like too much like it is about to be. I don't want to say released, but maybe that's going to be you like you're going to be releasing it, even if the other person doesn't change or that situation, if it is with other people, doesn't really change between um, you guys. Like, I do feel like there's going to be a change of something that is going to um, I don't even know if it's going to I don't want to say it's going to make you feel better yet. It just feels like it's going to change. I feel like you. The story like continues. This is just like part of it um, with the Queen of Wands here. Like it does show you being very passionate and very um, like nurturing with your passions. Like, you know what you want and you go for them, but you do it with compassion. Like you don't go and like you step over other people with the sun reversed here. Like the sun is a happy card when it's reversed. It's like, yeah, you're happy with it, but it could be better. It's not terrible, but it could be better. The lovers reversed um, shows like there's I think it's this like disunion that's going on and it's causing you anxiety. It's causing you to feel like like you're just maybe at your wits end. Um, and if you can, like you're being asked to take this 
period of time for like healing, like go within and heal because the Empress is coming through. And this is a very like fruitful card. The Empress is very like abundant in a lot of things. And I feel like this is you, but in order to connect back to this energy, you are going to have to rest and, and look within. I feel like that's what's going to help you get out of this card. That's literally 10 swords in the back in your back. Uh, there seems to be a lot of passion here with this Ace of Wands. So I think this is a passionate new beginning of some sort, but I feel like you have to go through all of this before you can get to your to your wand. So that is your reading, Libra. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your horoscope reading for mid-June through mid-July. Let's see what the Scorpion Sting has in store for us this month. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know for the next month? Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Scorpio. What do they need to know? Man, it's so funny. Um, I shuffle the cards in between readings and literally like there's a similar cards coming through for everybody. There's something coming through. Wow. Let's see before I get further into your reading. I do see there's a resistance of moving forward coming through and the tower coming through let's see five of pentacles tower chariot reverse scorpio what on planet earth 3d is going on with you friends let's see I know some Scorpios in my life. Let's see what's going on. I do see that there was something like that recently happened that uprooted. Oh, yeah. All right. So with the page of swords reversed here, I feel like communication is being highlighted. OK. All right, Scorpio. I should have known. I mean, you guys are so intense. I love you. I've talked about it. I married a Scorpio. That was fun. And my mother is a Scorpio, which that was also fun. I'm a Taurus. So here we go. Okay, so the tower is coming up. So obviously something happened that completely changed like everything Um what your tower moment is like, you'll know it's something big. Sometimes it could come out of nowhere. Sometimes we see it coming with the devil card. I feel like maybe you saw it coming and there was like resistance. Like I'm just seeing resistance um, in your reading. I see that there is conflict that you're probably trying to release. The conflict was in your home. It was in your structure. It was in your four of wands with the four of wands reversed here. Um, this is just showing like shaky foundations, shaky foundations that maybe you were already aware of and maybe you didn't address them and spirit just kind of had to take over with this tower card. You are being asked to balance like, yes, it's difficult right now because there are parts of the old and parts of the new that have to come together. But this is definitely a card like reminding you to keep balance. Um, it is temporary. All right, my scorpion friends. So our camera just randomly overheated. And I think it's because this reading was just so intense. There's a lot of energies coming through. So we are going to start with, um, let's talk about this two of pentacles. So like I was saying, spirit is asking you to balance. So with this queen of swords reversed, normally when she's upright, and I say she because it's just a feminine energy. This obviously doesn't have to be a um, female or, you know, like it could be non-gender. Like this is just the energy that the card is in. But when she is 
upright. She's normally um, has the, the like capacity to like think logically, but maintain a sense of like empathy and capacity to be there for other people in a loving way, in a nurturing way, because she is a queen. Because she is reversed, this just feels like she's so off balance. Things could be coming off as smothering or just maintaining these ideas of how you feel. It's just very heady and it's it's just very off balance. So that could also be why the two of pentacles is coming up with it. It's there's a sense of like going um, back and forth. So whatever the situation was that rocked your entire foundation, if you resonate with that, um, the five of pentacles is showing like you're probably feeling left out in the cold or someone is if this isn't you. And if there's another person involved in the situation, this could be them. But it's definitely a feeling of just like not having enough, like you got left behind or something of that sense. It's just a sense of lacking. As you can see the card, um, these are two people left out in the cold. The chariot reverse It's just showing like a resistance of moving forward, like something is stopping you from moving forward. And even though you feel anxious, you're probably having sleepless nights. You're thinking about the situation all the time. Uh, you're holding yourself back in some way. The devil is showing up underneath the chariot reverse, the chariot reverse. Like I said, like it just doesn't show you moving forward. Um, there's like no focus, no direction, really. Maybe there's a resistance to moving forward because I do feel like this devil card like is pointing out that you are holding yourself back. The devil's here to call us out. Like anytime this card comes up, it's just calling us out. Like what are our own vices? How are we holding ourselves back? Um, what are we leaning on? This could be any kind of vice. This could be addictions. This could be... Um, I mean, this this is really anything that you use as a coping mechanism, even if this was, say, a relationship of some sort or something that you're um, having a hard time moving away from, like it, it just it feels like you're holding yourself back. So with the Queen of Wands here, this is someone that is driven and is passionate and compassionate at the same time. Um, she's a good manifester. Compassion keeps coming through. So I I really am curious as to let's pull one more. So the lovers reversed. I feel like that's for you. So I feel like whatever disunion is happening here, maybe that was maybe the queen of wands is you or the other person. But I do feel like there's a disunion. But there are certain things that you have to like look within and and try to like get yourself out of the chains, like break away from these habits even if those are like ways of thinking that were comforting at some point, but now they're just like holding you back. So Scorpio, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you at the next one. Hello, my Sagittarius friends. Thank you for joining me here today for your horoscope reading. This will cover mid-June through mid-July of 2021. So today we will be asking spirit, what do you need to know? What do my Sagittarius peeps need to know the next month? Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Sagittarius. What do my Sagittarius people need to know? What is the energy that's going to be surrounding them in the next few weeks? All right, let's see what comes up for you. We've had some pretty interesting readings so far. Already some messages coming through. You got the Five of Cups reversed along with the Knight of Swords reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Strength reversed. Sagittarius, are you feeling a little unbalanced right now? I feel like you... Maybe this is breaking away from something. Hmm. Let's pull some more cards for you. So there's a sense of like releasing, like someone wasn't being truthful or there's like a situation that 
Maybe they didn't even realize they're being truthful. They're not being truthful, I mean. But it just shows like someone's like trying to come out of it or. Yeah, there's also a feeling of not being strong enough to deal with something and it's making you like go into hermit mode. OK, so I feel like someone might feel like they're not strong enough to um, create the life that they want or like live out do something, whether it's live out like your dream life or like get your dream job or like whatever it is that you want to manifest. I feel like there's feelings of maybe like self doubt coming through. Um, there's a feeling of like, like normally the five of cups has to do with grief, but because it is reversed, I almost feel like it's an, I don't I, I don't know why I want to say an unwillingness to like, look at the situation of something. I almost want to say there's like denial, which is very strange because I've read these cards a lot of times before and that's never really the feeling that I've gotten. But I feel like you just feel like you or maybe that is the denial. Maybe you're like denying your own strength about something here. But with the Knight of Swords reversed, it just shows like action that is either delayed or not coming through. Like maybe you have an idea and you're afraid of something and it's keeping you from moving forward. Like there is a sense of anxiety and I do see you like trying to release it, but I feel like you're like questioning your own strength with it. Um, like I said, I feel like this is pushing you into hermit mode and it's really making you like think about what you need to release, what you need to walk away from is coming through. And that's not easy to do because I feel like when you realize or when you finally Spirit is correcting me. When you admit what it is you need to walk away from, this mask is going to fall and you're going to be like more true to yourself or the situation. I feel like maybe um, right now you're not. And that's really been uh, like keeping you from feeling victorious or like feeling like you. Um, yeah, it's just like a sense of victory that that is was like being stopped by some someone or something not being truthful. So the bottom of the deck energy is the five of pentacles. So I feel like there is a feeling of like being left out in the cold. And maybe that is something you have to release. Like it's causing you pain, but I just feel like with the Knight of pentacles reversed here, normally this card is about taking very methodical and very thought um, thought out actions, like coming up with a plan and just coming up with really logical steps of how to get there physically. Like, and, and I feel like there's just like blockages going on. Um, but you, you are the magician. Like this card still came up for you. Like you can manifest, you just have to release some of these ideas. And I do feel like you have to, admit to something that you need to walk away from. And then I think you're going to um, start to see progress. So with the four of wands reversed, the situation that you might be dealing with has to do with your home structures. Um, maybe this is a family member. Um, may, it's something relating to the home is what it feels like. But there's, there's definitely a sense of unbalance here until, until you kind of go within and, and you, you like embrace your own strength because it is here. It's just, I feel like right now there's things that are keeping you from like feeling that you are strong enough to break through this, uh, with the hermit here, I do see you going inward. And I think, I think that that's, a really good thing for you, actually. Like, I think it is a time to be self-reflective and know that you hold your own answers. That's what he's, this person is doing here with the lantern. It's like, they are their own light. And I feel like that's what you are going to be. You're going to be your own light, um, in, in order to like correct these, these things that you probably already know, um, need to be corrected and addressed before you can move forward. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. I hope to see you at the next one. Hello, my Capricorn friends. Thank you for joining me here today for your horoscope. Uh, today we are going to be looking into what lies this month ahead, mid-June through mid-July of 2021. We are going to be asking spirit, what energy is going to be surrounding you this month? What do you need to know? 
So here we go. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides. I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Capricorn. What does my Capricorn fam need to know this next month? What messages do they need to hear? Capricorn, I totally feel like you had the tower reversed last month. Those horoscopes are up. Um, yeah, if you want to check them out. But I feel like you had the tower reversed. And this either shows, so it could be two things. It could be that you avoided some type of... I want to say catastrophic, but it's like a big life changing situation um, or you're recovering from it. So take it as it resonates. Let's see what else comes up. There's also a feeling of conflict coming up and the high priestess reverse, which is showing me that you're ignoring what you already know, like something inside of you is already has the answer and it's probably easier to ignore it right now is what I'm feeling. All right, let's see. So this could do this. Ha this could have to do with your home, your home structure here with the four of wands. The fool does show you starting a new journey. OK, so I feel like this tower reversed already happened. I feel like it was something big that already happened. So this could have been something unforeseen, like, say, um, I don't know. I, it could literally be any unforeseen circumstance that comes up in your life that when it happens, there's like no recovering from it. Like things are just forever changed. And I feel like this is leaving you in a place where you have these um, decisions to make. But this is a very like this decision is you making it. It's not you consulting with other people. It's you like going within so with this conflict card, let's see what comes up here. Okay, so it could be the conflict was because something just didn't like. There's something here about something being ignored. Like, I feel like you're ignoring something or not dealing with it. I don't know. Because I see that here with the high priestess reversed. That it's like you already know, but you're not really like listening to yourself. And that's coming up with the judgment card reversed as well. It's like the inner knowing, the inner calling, and it's just like not seeing it, not hearing it, or just like ignoring it altogether. So we, with the Ace of Wands reversed, like, underneath the high priestess excuse me I feel like you do hold passion for something it's definitely passionate whatever this thing is but I feel like you already know something about it like you're going you're either going about it in a way that you know isn't the right way or you already know um I just feel like you're go you're going opposite for some reason of what what your inner knowing is telling you. So the guru in this deck is like the empress. So this is a very abundant card. So this does show that you are abundant in your home. You're abundant in your home structures, um, your community. If you are in a relationship or if you're married or if you um, like have a community that you built around yourself of like friends, like it does show like it is abundant and fruitful and balanced, but there is something here about ignoring an inner knowing. I feel like this decision that you have to make, maybe you're leaning more towards one, but you know, like you have a feeling that in the long run, that's not it. Or you feel like, well, it looks good, but I know it doesn't feel good, but I'm still going to go for it anyway. With the full card here, I do see a new journey. And with the seven of pentacles here, I feel like you have so much stuff going on that when you start this full journey, it's like you're going to have to choose which one to go with. Uh, the devil card is here, which this is so this is you, Capricorn. You are this card. Um, this is just here to remind you of like, how are you holding yourself back? What vices do you have? What addictions? Like, what are you holding on to that is still holding you back? I feel like this is being highlighted, but I also kind of love that it came up because like I said, this is your card. So Capricorn, that is your horoscope for the next month. I hope to catch you at the next reading.
Hello, my Aqua fam. Thank you so much for joining me for your horoscope reading. So this reading is for the sign of Aquarius. Today, we are going to be asking spirit, what messages do my Aquas need to hear in the next month? What is the energy that's going to be surrounding them going to be like? So let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for the sign of Aquarius. What messages do Aquas need to hear right now? What is going on with them? What energy is going to be surrounding them in the next month? Let's see. Oh, you already have some stuff coming out. Okay, my aquas. So I see like there's an imbalance here. Something doesn't feel balanced. Or maybe you're having um, a hard time juggling something. But it does seem like you are releasing burdens. I think it's... Okay, this is kind of funny for Aquarius. Not funny, but you know, Aqua is how you can be. You're releasing burdens like regarding heartbreak is what it feels like. Or maybe someone disappointed you. And I know, Aqua, is that that's hard to admit. But it's showing up here. You also got the strength card, which is, you know... That's you right there. You are strong enough to get through um, whatever's hurting your little aqua heart. You, you're releasing the burden and you are strong enough to face your fears surrounding it. Okay, I see, I see you. Let's get three more card spirit, please, for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Oh, I kind of love this for you. I see you are, you're trying, you're trying, Aquas, you're trying. Let's see what this last card is. I love it. At the end, you still have sunshine, you have strength. Strong Leo or fire signs coming through. Okay, we'll just stick with this one for now. The Ace of Cups reversed is the overall energy of your reading. So there is there's some kind of disharmony going on here. Um, I want to say it's relating to your home structures. Uh, someone's feeling left out in the cold. Like there, there's a lot that I feel has been going on for a while, but I really feel like you're finally ready to address it, even if it is for now, just within yourself. Um, but I feel like you're working really hard at like overcoming this. So let's start with the queen of wands. So the queen of wands is a very fiery feminine energy. This is someone who's um, passionate, but compassionate at the same time. Uh, they see what they want and they go for it, but it's still in a nurturing like energy because she is a queen along with that energy. So maybe this is a person if, or maybe it's yourself, but along with that comes like a feeling of lack, a feeling of not enough. There's not enough of something or someone here feels like they got um, left behind or left out in the cold. Um, something about it feels like there wasn't enough given Um is is what I'm getting from that right now with the two of pentacles reversed and the moon reversed. So you are really feeling off balance is what I feel like, or you're having like a hard time, like balancing these, these two, it feels like two big things in your life. Um, these changes that are going on, or maybe it's like resistance to balancing them, but it is calling like for order. Um, that is coming strongly through for you with the moon card reversed. It feels like maybe you're avoiding like doing some of the shadow work. Maybe there's like an avoidance of like looking within and really like getting down to like seeing through like what's real and what's not. And I'm seeing that in two different places. I'm seeing that here and I'm seeing that with the eight of swords. This is you. Like, I feel like you're finally working on releasing this feeling of feeling overburdened. I think it's like your mind and emotions. Like, even though there's no cups showing here, I feel like 
maybe it's you avoiding like looking at emotions and you're trying to like stay in your head about it. But I feel like you're kind of, you were in this prison of your own making of like thinking, no, this is how it is. This is how it's going to be. This is the situation that I'm in right now. And it's going to be like that. And if I get out of it, then these are the problems I'm going to have. It's like, I feel like you're working really hard at releasing the overburden of even feeling that, uh, with the three of swords here, uh, this is a card of heartbreak and disappointment and things just, I mean, it, not going your way and it, it, it hurts, you know, and with the four of wands reversed here, it does tell me that it has to do with your family structure or your stable structure of like community, like whatever that is, it's showing a shaky foundation. And I feel like that's leading to pain that you're trying to release. So spirit wants to remind you, you have the strength to face your fears and you do have the sun. It's like when you do face these things, like there is more after whatever this is, like there is sunshine, there is happiness there. It's just a matter of like getting over this painful thing. Um, like I said, the ace of cups reversed here I feel like this has to do with a partnership of some sort that was part of your um, foundation or a relationship um, but I definitely think that you are in a time of transition but you're also in a time where spirit is asking you to really do the work for yourself um, yeah my aquas that is what I have for you this month thanks for joining me and I'll catch you at the next reading Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your horoscope reading for mid-June through mid-July 2021. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today, we are going to be asking spirit, what does Pisces need to know right now? What messages does Pisces need to hear? What is going to be the energy that's surrounding them in the next month? So let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Pisces. What do our little dreamy Pisces need to know about right now? What is going to be the energy surrounding them in the next month? All right. So I see communication coming through. I see recognition. I see someone who might be a little off, feeling off balance, a lot off balance, perhaps. All right, let's get started. Coming in swinging Pisces with this nine of swords first. Are you having a hard time sleeping? Are you a little anxious? What's going on with you? I feel like this came through. Let's put this here. All right. So I can already feel like it's either a small group of people stressing you out, like literally it could be like two or three people that are, um, I don't know, I feel like it's a it was a collaborative thing or something involving other people that you were um, either working with or, you know, you guys were doing something together and I feel like something led to an imbalance where it's just not working and it's led you to this place of like anxiety and sleeplessness. I do feel like you, you got like either communication came in, like communication, you got news about something. Maybe this didn't even have to come from another person. This could have been something you read that triggered a thought, but something here triggered like a new thought or a new way of thinking. I do feel like you are not taking action towards it though. Like this is, this is not, um, this is you like knowing, but not taking action. Like there's an opportunity there, but you're, you're just not taking action. With the six of wands here, like this is a card about victory in recognition with the hermit reversed here. That's interesting. The hermit is usually a card about going within and looking within for answers. So I feel like I feel like this page of swords and the six of wands are related. Like the news that you get is going to make you feel like I feel like it's going to make you feel victorious. But this Hermit Reverse card, I feel like spirit is like, 
I feel like the, it, I don't want to say it should be a time of like looking within, but it almost feels like this pushed you out of it. Like maybe you were in hermit mode and some like you got word about something and it, it pushed you out of it. I do see like a new mental cycle starting now with this queen of wands reverse. This is showing a feminine energy who's very fiery, but like right now she's off balance. She might be like short, meaning not short as in height, but like attitude wise short, like ain't having it. Maybe like a little extra fiery things that she normally um, would be able to um, handle. I want to say handle with ease are feeling off balance. And that's coming in twice with this queen of pentacles reversed. Um, this is this is like a it's a feminine energy. It's like a mother. It's like the feminine energy in the house that takes care of the home. Um, can provide has like enough to give for others but she just feels very unbalanced and when she's unbalanced this is telling me there's like no boundaries so this is a feminine energy that's very unbalanced boundaries are coming through here I feel like this queen of wands there's a partnership here with the two of cups that's just making her like something about this is not bringing out the best in her um, her meaning this energy so even though we already have enough cards out here, I do want to pull up one more. I feel like we're not done. I feel like this queen of pentacles is avoiding walking away from something that she knows is no longer serving her. Um, with this eight of cups card reversed here, I feel like there's a soul journey that like needs to be taken, but maybe you're like avoiding looking at the truth and that's fine. Like you can, you know, continue to live in this energy, but just expect more of the same. So if, um, you know, however that makes you feel, I think it's kind of like a signal for you as to what action to take. If you're happy with where your energy is at and um, where things are going, you know, then I then you can continue to go on and kind of postpone this journey. I, I do see you're like avoiding something. You're avoiding a new way of thinking like you have the idea you're not making moves towards it. And here it's like an avoidance of like um, an elevated way of thinking almost because it is something new that you're just like, no, you're like resistant to it. And that is being confirmed by the full card. The full card is about new journeys, new starts. Like you don't know anything about it. It's like a very like beginner's mind, but there's like no baggage bringing into it. You're going into it like happily and like naive. But I feel like, I feel like there's an avoidance here um, happening. So my Pisces friends, that is what I have for you this month. I hope you enjoyed your reading and I'll catch you at the next one. Hello, Aries, and welcome to your horoscope reading for mid-June through mid-July 2020. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We are going to be asking spirit, what messages does Aries need to hear at this point in time? What does the next month hold for them? What is the energy going to be like that's surrounding them? So let's get started. Angels, ancestors, spirits, and guides, thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Aries. What does my Aries fam need to know right now? What do they need to know about the next month and the energy that's going to be surrounding them? The cards are quiet for you, Aries. I'm laughing because literally the other groups, um, they're just flying out. So I see a new partnership. I see passion. I see a new journey. Let's get a few more cards for you. All right. So first you got the two of cups with the full card, which the full card is a new journey. You got the king of wands, very passionate, the sun reversed, the six of pentacles, the seven of swords. Let's see, spirit, can we get four more cards for Aries? So there is the feeling of this um, partnership or this. Yeah, it's a partnership, but there's a there's a sense of like deceit coming through with it, like not not being truthful. But I feel I feel like it's because of the way I don't know. 
I don't know why I want to say it's the way you've done things before, but maybe that's not how you do things now. You did get the Ace of Cups come up underneath the full card. So I do feel like there's going to be a renewed like sense of emotion coming into your heart. And it's not going to be something that you either saw coming or that you've um, experienced before. Or maybe it's going to come in a form that you didn't even realize that you could be emotionally fulfilled um, going down this new path or trying this new thing. Whatever new thing you're going to try or you're going to get into, I, it's going to leave you feeling really like good and emotionally fulfilled. I love that you got the King of Wands and the King of Cups right underneath it. Lots of energy. So the King of Wands is very, very passionate, like goes after things, is a manifester. Let's see. And the King of Cups, I mean, just has such like deep emotional um, capacity and like feels deeply. So I love it. There's like so much heart. There's so much, so much love and so much passion. And I love that even though these are both kings to me, they feel like counterparts. It feels very balanced because there's fire and there's water. And it's like they both have the equal capacity um, to give in a passionate way and in an emotional way. Even though the king can hide how he feels, he still shows it. He like shows how much he cares. Um, so with the sun reversed here and the hermit reversed, like I feel like this is a time to like look within, but the happiness, or I should, I was going to call it the happiness card. The sun card is the happiness card. And when it's reversed, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't take away from anything. It just means like things are good, but they could be better. Like there's something here. And I feel like it's tied into the seven of swords. Like there's something like you're either not being truthful with yourself or someone's not being truthful in a current situation, um, a current like partnership, like maybe this isn't even with another person. Maybe it's like parts of yourself that you're not remaining truthful to who you're becoming um, and what doesn't serve you anymore. But like I said, this new journey you're taking, it, it's, it feels like it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. There's passion and emotion here. Um, but like I said, I feel like you're going to feel like this is great, but things could be better with the six of pentacles here and the king of pentacles. I love this. The king of pentacles is like so strong. He is a caretaker. Like it, he's like head of family, head of household, head of whatever, head of business, head of it's like enough to give. Um, there's just you're very abundant, like you're very abundant and you're very generous. It's coming out here in both of these cards. The six of pentacles, like this is an entrepreneurship card. It's also a card about equal give and take. Um, there's enough to give here. And I feel like you're very giving and this King energy that you're in, it's like, you like to take care of everybody and you probably set up systems. Like this could also be you setting up systems where, um, you're not just freely giving, but it's almost like you, you might be like creating jobs that like give enough is what's coming through. Um, you did get bottom of the deck energy of the tower reversed. So, I have said before, I've described this card as either avoiding something. OK, this is making sense. This is making sense. So I feel like because you got the seven of swords here, like whatever behavior, you know, you have to just like. I, I want to say it's not even change. It's it's almost like release, like what doesn't what's not you anymore, like whatever whatever isn't truthful or whatever is going on here, like that is going to be avoiding like a bigger situation at the end where it could be, it could be like either taken away from you in a way that you can't go back. It's like there's change that needs to happen. If not, like you get the tower is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, if you already had something big happen in your life that it's like, this could be anything. It could be something that you didn't see coming that it has completely changed the way you live your everyday life, then this is showing like you after, after that, like trying it, like what happens after this big event is where you're at. If, um, the other part didn't resonate. 
that could be the other message that's coming in through as well. So I'm kind of curious. Knight of Pentacles, I like that. I'm going to leave that instead of the Tower reversed because I feel like you are making plans. You're a very logical person. You like see something and you're like, okay, what do I need to do to get there? So this shows you moving slow, but moving steady. And I can't even tell you how exciting it is to see the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Like, I like Pentacles. Pentacles is like good stuff. You know, it's like home, money, um, career, health, like all of that stuff, all of our earthly possessions. And it just shows you like being so abundant and so in the flow. This Knight of Pentacles, even though you do have the full card, I feel like once you dip your foot into whatever this is, this newness is, you're going to be like, OK, what is going to be my plan of action to continue to move forward? And this knight, as you can see, the horse isn't charging. He's like planted into the ground because he is looking at the battleground and laying out his plans so that when he moves in, he's going to be victorious. I love this reading for you. All right, my Aries, my fiery Aries. Also, I should mention you are obviously a fire sign. So this king of wands, um, you're definitely like shining through there. And the sun is also your card. So um, I love me some Aries. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hello, my fellow Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope reading for mid-June through mid-July. Thank you for joining me here today. Today we are going to be asking spirit, what do Tauruses need to know for the next month, the next few weeks? What energy is going to be surrounding us? I say us because I'm a Taurus as well. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I thank you for allowing me to channel these messages for Taurus. What does the next month have in store for Taurus? What messages does Taurus need to know? What is the energy that's going to be surrounding Taurus? So I do want to say the first card that flashed was the Ace of Wands, and that's about a passionate beginning. So there might be some passion going on in the next month. It didn't fly out, so we'll just talk about it. The first card that did come out is the five of wands. So this shows conflict. There's something going on around you. I don't even think it's you. I think you're just getting caught up in it for whatever reason. I mean, we don't do anything wrong, right, Taurus? It's never us, right? Totally kidding, guys. Sometimes it is us. All right. So I do see that there you have like maybe now you're like coming into your own and you're starting to like visualize the future and what that could hold and start to see possibilities and options. I do see that you feel more strongly about one thing than another. So maybe you already have an idea of what direction you want to go in. So I do see that. We're holding ourselves back. <laughs> okay, so I'm laughing because the three of cups is reversed and then the devil and then the six of wands reversed. So we are either indulging too much in behaviors that, yes, are fun, but they are holding us back from working towards our goals. Um, I know that like here in California and in L.A., restrictions are like finally being lifted. And this could look like you just, you know, hanging out, going out there and getting distracted. And it's um, it's kind of distracting you from the bigger picture. That could be one thing. The devil also asks us to. You know, remember that we can take ourselves out of our own chains, like what vices, what addictions, what is your crutch? What what do you lean on? Because really, that's keeping you from um, Taurus is keeping us from a place of being where we want to be. Like I see that there is a delay here, like a card of victory is reversed. And this is just showing like we're, we're kind of delaying our own progress is the feeling that I'm getting here. So um, we just got the nine of pentacles. We have the high priestess as well. 
Let me get the rest of the cards and then we'll go through the rest of your reading. So um, with the high priestess here, I do feel like it is under the conflict card. So maybe your intuition, your intuition is telling you one thing and you're conflicted. Um, that would totally make sense because like I said here, it looks like you're like finally looking like the world is at your hands and you have these options and these things that you want to work towards. And, and you're like probably like starting to feel passionate about these things. The nine of pentacles is showing a very independent um, person that can take care of themselves, can take care of their home, um, a provider for themselves. Like this doesn't necessarily show like head of household, but it does show someone that is um, is very like independent and, and can take care of. So I feel like whatever whatever this is, whatever these options are. Like you're just being reminded that like you, you are enough, like you can provide. Um, let's move to this three of cups reverse. So normally when that card is upright, it has to do with like gatherings and having fun and, you know, it's all like fun and games. But when it comes out reversed, it could turn a little volatile. It could be like a, a fun time stretched out too long. Like if you've been just kind of indulging in these behaviors that are just like, yeah, I'm just hanging out. I'm just doing this and not really like working towards anything. Spirit is reminding you like that's you holding your own self back from your own victory. Like that's coming in very strong here for Taurus. Also the feeling of feeling overburdened. So you want to make sure that um, if you are like turning to things that are like fun and that are like here to make you feel better, it's not like you're not like overly doing it. It's like the feeling of burden comes with it. So I don't know if you're like turning to these things because of what's of like the conflict and what else is going on, but it just feels like there's a message here about just like calling yourself out on, on your own behaviors. Um, we also have the emperor showing up here underneath the devil card. So this shows a very masculine, um, energy, very strong, someone who like sees what they want and like goes for it is a leader. So that coming up underneath the devil, that's really up to you to kind of see how that applies. If that applies to your situation, but this could also be your addiction to, to a masculine energy. This is what's coming through. <laughs> I just rolled eyes at my own self at my own reading, you guys. Like I said, I'm a Taurus too. <laughs> so with the justice card, like I do see, like this is something from the past that you want corrected. Like you want things balanced. Like whatever is conflict over, it's like you're working from conflict here all the way to like wanting balance. And you want this because it's just keeping you from feeling like fully in your power and fully like feeling victorious. The overall energy for your reading, AKA our reading is the King of Pentacles, which is one of my, um, cards that makes me feel real good because we like our stability and there's no one to give you stability like this king of pentacles the energy is like so attractive to us isn't it taurus it's like a provider um a head of household that just gives and can has the capacity for like these long term like long term provider this person enjoys um enjoys providing for their people, whether this is like, um, an owner, like a CEO, um, that, like I said, the head of a household, like whatever it is, there's just long-term stability in this, in the material realm. So very, very abundant. I love that that is the energy for the month. So dear Taurus, that is your reading. I hope to catch you at the next one. Thanks guys.